Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these new DiGiorno. These are the artisan style melts. Uh, this is the Quattro Formaggi. Uh, it is rosemary focaccia bread um, topped with creamy Alfredo sauce, reduced fat mozzarella, smoked gouda. Who sometimes I don't like folks smoked gouda. Um, Fontina, Parmesan, Asiago, and Romano cheeses. It's all cheese. So it's basically a cheese bread. Um, I opened it up. So it says two hearty snack pieces. Open it so I could just wouldn't have to fight with it. 280 calories for one piece, and there's two pieces in the container. I'm only going to eat one. Uh, there's the other information for you. Sodium is not too bad. That's good. Uh, cost for wasn't bad. So we can do it in the oven or toaster oven. I'm going to do it in the microwave. So you place, remove the product from plastic wrap, place product onto a crisping, onto the crisping tray and directly on the microwave surface. Microwave at high, one product for one minute and 15 seconds. If you had both of them, you do 220. Um, and they're using the cell oven. So anyway. well, it's bigger than I thought. You get two of these. So I'm gonna get this, I'm just gonna take it out of the plastic, put it directly in the microwave just like this uh, for 115 and I'll be back. Okay, here it is out of the microwave and I did not have it on the paper plate in the microwave, but I would in the future because this cheese runs over the little tray. So I would stick this tray on a microwave, I mean a, a paper plate and then put it in the microwave and just microwave it on the plate and all. So I'm gonna scrape this off and, but anyway, that's what it looks like. It smells very garlicky. So I'll be back. Okay, it's time to cool off, so I'm just going to try a bite. I've cut a couple pieces into smaller bites so I can pick it up and eat it. Um, it's soft like a like a biscuit or a roll. That's that's the kind of texture it has. That bread has a texture of like a roll, like a dinner roll. Um, that pair of piece didn't have a lot of cheese on it. Let me see. I mean, there's definitely cheese. You can see it right here. It's pretty good. It doesn't have as much flavor as I thought it would. It's definitely not bad. It's good. But, um, but it doesn't have as much flavor as I thought it would have, honestly. I thought it would be a little more garlicky, a little more... I don't know. There's no sauce, of course. It's just cheese on bread. But, um, I mean, overall, it's good. It's just not overwhelming me. So, I'm going to give it the average score of a three. It's definitely edible. It's definitely food. Uh, it's not bad at all. It just doesn't have the flavor I was expecting. So, um, if you get them in your area, definitely try them out. The bread texture, I love the texture of the bread. The bread is really, really good. And... I've got a couple other ones of late these with different flavors. I'm hoping those, this is just cheese. So I'm hoping those other ones have a little bit more flavor than this. Uh, I think I'll be really impressed with those if the bread and stuff was the same texture. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.